Okay, hello everyone. Uh, today I have some interesting buckling mode example. Uh, it is a buckling analysis of a thin strip on the tensile load. So normally, when you think of buckling, it happens on the compressive uh, stress state, and it requires geometric imperfection or damage for tensile load to cause buckling. But interestingly, buckling can happen under certain boundary conditions for thin strip. Okay, I will briefly show you how it works, how it is possible. Okay, we have a long and thin strip here, and we have both ends clamped in all 6 degree freedom. And if we apply tensile load, it will deform like this. We have a retained end and the free edge will contract because of a Poisson's effect. When you think of uh, stress in y direction, uh, the clamped end here is uh, will have highest value. And if we go far from the end, we will eventually get pure tensile stress state in the x direction. Uh, for the same Venon's principle. So, but when you think of moment equilibrium, there should be, there must be compressive join here because this tensile stress uh, needs to be compensated uh, to satisfy moment equilibrium. So we have, we, we will get compressive stress here. So it is a finite, finite element simulation result. Uh, looks like this. Yeah, we have tensile stress here, we will get compressive join. So it is known that it has very small value compared to global tensile stress, but anyway, we get compressive st stress under tensile load. Yeah, now it makes sense, you know, while well, we have compressive stress, we will get buckling mode. So I made an example based on the reference paper. I will leave the reference uh, in the comment section. And as I mentioned, uh, to get the buckling mode on the tangent, we need compressive stress. So, uh, extracting buckling mode uh, uh, in the first place will not extract uh, the, the uh, tensile direction on the buckling mode. We need a preloading step before extracting the buckling mode. So, uh, uh, the uh, abacus input goes like this. We have preloading step with the static general procedure and after that we will perform the buckling mode extraction. But the tensile stress value here uh, matters because if the tensile stress is far smaller than the critical tensile stress, we will not get this buckling mode. So how do we estimate this tensile stress? Uh, I will explain later. And uh, for post-buckling analysis, uh, the extracted buckling mode can be applied as uh, imper imperfection in Abacus. Uh, so I will show you uh, how this keyword works later. And you can see how it looks like in Abacus. So I will provide input file uh, and leave the link so you can uh, refer to the link if you are interested and we have like I mentioned we have static general procedure and after that we will get we, we, we perform buckle uh, procedure so this is a result of a buckling mode analysis you can see this uh, buckling mode uh, shows the wrinkle shows a beautiful wrinkle here so if you want to see the post-buckling behavior, uh, you can uh, perform dynamic implicit or uh, RIGS analysis in Abacus. So, uh, I will show you the animation. If you look closely, you can see there is a wrinkle here. So, uh, we can mark with the uh, Auto plane displacement. You can see there's a wrinkle, a wrinkle formation. Looks pretty nice. 
without imperfection we will not get this uh, buckling mode in, uh, in just a, a simple dynamic implicit procedure so if you want to apply imperfection uh, you can do this before step definition uh, use this asterisk imperfection comma finally calls uh, name of buckling mode uh, extraction in profile and this, those number here represent number of buckling mode and the scale factor I extracted only one buckling mode so I, I uh, input this number 1 and 0 0.05 is uh, uh, the, 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 the thickness value of the thin strip uh, this, uh, the choosing the right scale factor uh, depends on the FE engineer but it is normally recommended to apply this scale factor to be uh, smaller than the thickness of the structure so yep I'll leave the link for download on comment section and if you have any question oh before 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 the, the yeah yeah I, I forgot to explain this critical tensor stress yeah uh, like I mentioned the preloading step uh, the tensor stress in preloading step matters because the tensor stress is smaller than the this value we will not get buckling mode so we can estimate uh, the critical tensor stress with this formula please uh, refer to this paper it is very interesting it is 20 years old but I got very uh, uh, I got surprised by the fact that the strips can buckle in tensor stress and it is very interesting and go write uh, uh, read uh, this paper anyway uh, this formula is from this paper yeah we have it uh, the critical tensor stress is a function of left modulus and the thickness and dimension in small uh, small length and the uh, buckling coefficient this kc here is a function of aspect ratio so uh, in our example aspect ratio is 7 so this kc value here is approximately yep uh, like a 1.5 uh, 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 multiplied by power 10 5 yep and this is approximately 743 megapascal so uh, in our case so uh, you should uh, notice that this applies to Poisson ratio is equals to 0 0.3 so for other cases uh, for which is uh, Poisson ratio is far different from this value might not work but is uh, you know it cannot be applied for just normal steel so anyway if you have any questions uh, please uh, let me know in the comment section and I will try to uh, reply as soon as possible yep thank you for listening